Throughout history, people have reported the presence of divine defenders, angels protecting them or fighting for them in the middle of battle. One of the most famous examples of this potential intervention is in the Battle of Mont between the British and German forces during World War I. On August 23, 1914, the British Army, with support from France, attacked the German Army, which had just declared war on them a few weeks before. Hopes were high that the fresh British troops would prevail, especially with help from the French. The Battle of Mont was the last in four skirmishes that were referred to as the Battles of the Frontiers. The initial three altercations were in the towns of Lorraine, Ardennes, and Charleroi. They all involved the assistance of French military forces, which were under the command of General Joseph Joffrey at the time. As the forces met, it became clear that the German military was much larger, and when the French forces retreated, the British forces were vulnerable to attack. Over 35,000 British troops were involved, and over 1,600 perished. On September 29, 1914, a writer for the London Evening News, Arthur Machen, wrote a short story based on accounts that suggested angelic aid during the battle allowed for a safe retreat. The story caught the imagination of the English people overnight. Even though the story was empirically a fictional account which was deeply inspired by the battle, the public believed that the tale was true and the legend was born. Word of Machen's story spread fast, and soon publishers were asking to speak with his sources. No matter how much Machen objected to the truth of the story, the public continued to believe in its accuracy. After the events occurred, three surviving soldiers were interviewed by a chaplain near Keswick. Each soldier gave a similar story. The German army was advancing, and there was no hope. Yet seemingly by the will of God, the Germans turned around and did not crush the British troops, allowing them to retreat. In 1915, as the story grew, many soldiers added to the various descriptive mythic accounts of the angels that they witnessed on the battlefield. However, the witness testimony that described the intervention as angels came only after Machen's story was put to print. At the time, German prisoners of war suggested it was because the German troops thought they saw English reinforcements coming. In the end, the Society for Psychical Research concluded there was no verifiable first-hand account of angels appearing. The involvement of Brigadier General John Charteris may give a clue about the promotion of the story. Its real purpose might have been to boost morale. Charteris added to the account with his own letters as evidence. For a long time, this was one of the main examples validating the soldiers' accounts. However, it was later determined that he had falsified the dates of his letters to validate the myth. In reality, it would have been hard to take witness accounts if they actually were sincere at face value, as the troops on the battlefield had not slept in many days, which could have distorted their vision. Sleep deprivation is known to have varying effects on the human body. It's not unreasonable to think that it could have induced visions of angelic salvation. Further, the accounts, even as given, vary greatly in regards to the appearance and actions of the supposedly otherworldly beings. Is it possible that their accounts were less to do with angelic aid and more to do with exhaustion or wartime hysteria? There are reports from German soldiers who were captured as prisoners of war that seem to attest to the presence of phantom archers attacking them, which they assumed were British reinforcements. This could suggest some truth to the tale, as those prisoners would have nothing to gain by feeding into the legend. Indeed, there were mythical stories on both sides of the Great War. The German soldiers loved to talk of a giant dog, engineered by the German army to hate the British, that reportedly carried off their bodies on the battlefield. No evidence has ever been discovered, but the lore surrounding this dog is omnipresent. It's not uncommon for there to be supernatural reports of interventions and battles, regardless of your political affiliation or nationality. There are accounts of such aid and tales from the Revolutionary War and conflicts from the American West. So were the stories of the angels at the Battle of Mont a series of fictionalized accounts for self-promotion or propaganda? Or is it possible that there were celestial beings present in 1914? We may never know the truth, but the angels of Mont make for a great story. If you like this video, subscribe to more Weird History.